what is up so i'm actually quite excited about the two decks that have received support in blazing vortex one of them is fabled so i'm going to go through the fabled cards and then we also got some support for wind witches which i'm really really happy about i think wind witches are such a cool deck they just don't have enough cards i mean the cards they have already are amazing but yeah it's definitely nice to hear some more support but the fabled support i'm definitely going to be making a fabled deck soon of this because it's so awesome just can't wait for it to get updated on edo pro but anyway yeah so we have fabled Marchosia, or Marcosia, and then level 4 Light Fiend effect monster. Can only use this card's effects once per turn each. If it's in your hand, discard one or two monsters except Fabled Marchosia, but you must discard at least one Fabled monster. And if you do, special summon this card, and if you do that, this card gains 200 attack for each monster you discard with this effect. If this card is discarded to the graveyard, add a Fabled Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Then we have Fabled Afank. So this is a level 2 Light Beast Tuner effect monster. This card, if it's in your graveyard, you can discard one Fabled Monster. Special summon this, but banish it when it leaves the field. This is a pretty standard kind of Fabled effect. I think there's one or two other cards that have a similar effect to this as well. Then we have their Synchro. This is a great Synchro monster. So Fabled Androth needs a Fabled Tuner and one non-Tuner non monster. Can only use this card's effects once per turn. If it's special summoned, your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect. Otherwise, you just draw two cards, discard one. If a monster is sent from your opponent's hand to the graveyard, target one of those monsters. Special summon it to your field, but negate its effect. So, both this card is probably one of the best Fabled Synchros we've got now. I think, if not the best, it's just so good. Its effect is amazing. Firstly, obviously, it's going to either force your opponent to discard a card, or it's going to give you two draws and a discard. That's amazing. And then, if your opponent decides to discard that card anyway, well, you know what's going to happen? You're just going to get to special summon that monster for free, if it's a monster. So, I mean, that's an incredible effect. It really, really makes this card never a bad idea to summon, in my opinion, because, at worst, your opponent's going to have to bait out and negate for it at worst because they're gonna they're either gonna lose one card or they're gonna have to bait out on the gate i mean it's, it's amazing and also being level six is nice burning abyss might have some plays with this and soul kiss for beatrice now because it'll be quite easy for them to bring it out they've got um um you've got now two easy level sixes to go into that could be summoned quite easily but then we have Stairway to the Fabled World. So they have a field spell now. So when this card resolves, send a Fabled from your deck to your graveyard. Target one Fabled in your graveyard. Discard two cards. Add it to your hand. And during damage calc, if your Fabled monster is attacking opponent's monster and you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, your attacking Fabled monster gains attack equal to your current hand side deficit times 200 during that damage calculation only. So, guys, this is another really, really good card for the Fabled archetype. I mean... To, to be honest, just the first effect makes it awesome, but then the second effect is great as well. So it's, you've got a free Foolish Burial, so the card's already doing bits for you. Then you've got the second effect to add any Fabled Monster in your hand um, to your grave, Fabled Monster in your graveyard to your hand. That's a nice effect to have. The third effect isn't massively relevant, but it doesn't actually matter that much because the first two effects are so strong that it's like by the time you get to the third effect, you've really got a lot off this if you needed to. Anyway, but yeah, another really good card. And then they get a trap as well. So fabled regicide target a fabled monster in your graveyard and one face-up card in the field discard one card and if you do special summon the target monster in your graveyard and if you do that destroy a target card on the field so it's funny because a card like this in any other archetype would be horrible i mean you it's a trap and then you have to discard a card as well just to do that but it's fabled so that card you discarded is almost certainly going to do something for you because every fabled monster has some sort of stupid effect that special summons or something when it's discarded and then you get special summon a card for free and destroy a card on the field so really really good card fabled definitely need something like this because one of their main issues i would say is that they're quite a synchro spammy kind of heavy monster deck they're not that good at dealing with background and stuff so having a card like this that you can just set in case you're to slap down a mystic mine or something this is nice you will run into the issue of you often don't have any cards in your hand at the end of your fabled combos but still i do like this card now i'm quite happy i definitely feel like i would play it at one at most what would probably be nice i don't think fabled currently have a way to search spells or traps if i'm not wrong so it would be quite nice to have a way to search this but yeah it's still quite a good card but yeah let's move on to those wind witch cards so we have wind witch blizzard bell quite a nice card level five wind spell caster tuna effect monster can only use the second effect once per turn if you control nine monsters or only wind witches you can normal summon this without tributing during your opponent's main phase you can send this from your hand or face up field to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage to your opponent the only really good thing about this is just that you can normal summon it without tributing basically that's why it's a good card because it basically means you get to special summon your other wind witches for free quite easily with this card but yes yeah, the second effect I, I guess it might come up in time and stuff but other than that it's not that relevant their second card wind witch freeze 
spell. You can only use the first effect once per turn. If all monsters you control win, which you can special summon this from hand. Once per turn, you can increase this class level by one. And a win synchro monster, synchro summon with this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Another quite good card, just a free card to summon to extend your plays. Then we have a new Synchro. So we have Windwitch Diamond Belt. It's nice. They don't actually have to rely on Crystal Wing anymore. They actually have their own Synchro, but I probably think you'll still rely on um, what's it, Crystal Wing a little bit because it is a good monster. But if this card is Synchro Summon, you can target a Windwitch monster in your graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack. Once per turn, if your opponent takes battle or effect damage, target a card in the field, destroy it. And if it's Synchro Summon using only Windwitches, you can activate this effect twice per turn. So, what is good about this card? is that Windwitches now have on-demand destruction because they have so many ways to burn and this card itself can burn as well. Windwitches also have a fusion that burns as well so it's quite interesting that they've got this card as well but yeah definitely a good synchro. Crystal Wing is still going to be a staple in Windwitch decks but now is they've got their own actual level 8 synchro to go into that they can do a bit of damage to their opponent and disrupt their opponent with. Then you have their normal spell. This spell is incredible so you can't special summon monsters turn you activate this card to win monsters standard claws target one win which monster you control special summon one win which with a different name from that face up monster from your deck in defense position this card is insane it's just a normal it's basically emergency teleport but for win witches there's nothing bad i can say about this card it's amazing just summon any win witch from your deck with this card i mean we definitely definitely are going to see this card played at three in all your win witch variants in my respect variants you need to play this card because it's just so good just a free summon i mean it's so funny how you can have such a simple card like this some such a simple effect but they have such a strong card like this i mean it's really really awesome this card also reminds reminds me of lunar light perfume i know someone's gonna laugh at me and say that's there's some lore or something like, okay I, I didn't watch you yeah i don't know but anyway yeah it really reminds me of lunar light perfume with the artwork but anyway we have their trap card as well so trap card is okay target a win which in monster in your graveyard special summon in defense when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your activation of win which monster effects and they gave that effect so nice standard negate to back up it would have been nice if it was a counter trap but to be honest i get why it's not they don't need that much speed because they've already got free negates on demand because of crystal wing that they can access really easily and it's a monster reborn as well so to be honest yeah but we're quite happy with this card i mean there's nothing really we can complain about but yeah that is the win which support a bunch of really nice cards and i would say it's nice because win which now feel like an actual archetype instead of just three cards technically like five because they have two extra deck ones but yeah instead of just feeling like three random cards that were splashed somewhere it's actually an archetype and they actually have got some good cards now so guys that is some of the new support in blazing vortex i'm very excited for the set and i'm definitely going to have some new deck profiles of both win witches and fabled coming out for you soon so if you've enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe I've got more content coming out for you really really soon i'll talk to you all later peace